Pointed signs are still commonplace in almost every community. For those seeking steady employment and a flexible schedule, bus driving might be a good option. News 19's Joe Minnie learned what the Toma School District could use. A few new drivers behind the wheel. The Toma Area School District could always use more bus drivers, but it's been a tougher year than usual, so it's been a challenge recruiting more. COVID affected things when somebody would be ill or tested positive or was near a contact that affected drivers. Uh, so. Yeah, it started to wear at the end of the year, and then we had a number of retirements at the end of last year, which has put us in the situation where we are now. The district superintendent is optimistic transportation services will be ready come fall, but they aren't stepping off the gas seeking more drivers. While we are short at the moment, we've been actively engaged in um, interviewing uh, requests uh, for folks that might be interested. Reach out, talk to us. We'd love the opportunity to visit. And over the past week, the transportation department has been getting an increase in calls from applicants. Most of the candidates that call in do not have a CDL, so they do have questions on how to obtain it, and there is a process. It's not difficult, it just requires studying the CDL manual, knowing how to operate air brakes. Some of the things that they already know, they'll need to restudy, like street signs and speed limits and so on. Although there are a few steps in getting behind the wheel, average pay is $22 an hour, and the job has unique rewards for drivers. It's being able to wake up each day knowing that you're making a difference. You are the first person uh, to see these people every single day uh, as a member of the school district and the last one too. So um, a lot of them take pride in knowing that they're getting these kids safely to and from school each day. In Toma, I'm Joe Minnie, News 19. And in the Toma Area School District, bus drivers can work a permanent part-time schedule, which typically involves a morning route and an afternoon route. And many drivers say they enjoy that schedule as they have the middle of the day open to do whatever they wish. And if you do already have a CDL license for a tractor trailer, the district says it's even easier to transition over to school buses.